Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Madhani and welcome to Learn in Tech. So in this section, I'm going to talk about how you can upload your local website to a GoDaddy server or an internet server, whatever server you have, with the help of FileZilla. So first of all, we'll look at what we need to do so. So first of all, you need a valid website name or a domain name, you can say that. You need a hosting for your website and you need a FTP account created on that particular hosting account with the username and password. So I'll just walk you through to my site. This is what my site look like and I have to just upload this site is already running, I've already uploaded to my server. So what I want that, whatever the changes I make, I'll directly upload the site to my server with the help of FTP accounts or FileZilla. So this is my FTP account I have created here. And I'll just open a FileZilla server. So this is how your FileZilla look like. And on the left hand side, you can see that uh, there is a lot of things. So this is my local system you can see that there is all C drive D drive all this thing showing up here so what I need to do is I have to locate where my sites reside in my system so I know my site reside in my C drive so I'll go there in my C drive there is a Visual Studio and inside that there is a Limart folder and this is my site in local system so what I need to do now is if you can see that there is a host username password three things so host means for which server I'm going to deploy this particular site so I'll just put my domain name here once it is done I'll put my username and I'll put my password here. So just let you know that you need to create this username and password in an FTP account what I have created here this FTP account uploader 91 you have to create password here. If you don't know how to create your FTP account you can check my other tutorials I have shown the other how to create your FTP account and how to publish your ASP.NET website also. You can check my previous video and after that, how to make changes to your website directly from FileZilla. This is what we are doing here. So once it is done, just click on Quick Connect and you'll see that there's a status connecting, initializing. And once it is done, my server site will come up here in the right-hand side section. You can see that now my entire server is coming up here. If I expand it here, there is a lot of website I do have here. So what I need to go is in the dscorporation.com. This is my site. And underneath that, you can see that all my files are coming up here. So as I told you, I have already uploaded this site here. So what I want that now, whatever changes I make to my local site, I should upload it in an easy to use manner. So for example, uh, I'm gonna make some changes in my this Limart section if you can see in my website this is the Limart written here so I'll just put a test here and we'll press ctrl s once it is saved I'll go to my filezilla and this is my default.aspx file which I've just edited here my default.aspx so now what I have to do just right click on this click on upload and it will ask me to override the existing default.aspx because I have already a default.aspx file there. So just to override it, it is checked and I have to just click on OK. Once it is done, a notification will come up here. Transfer is finished. That means my site has been transferred to my server. So what I have to do now just refresh my site here and we'll see the changes in the title section here. So this is the live site. I'm showing off here 
that how you can do things in with your file zero. Now you can see that after the Lima, there is a test coming up here. So this is how you can upload things from local to your server side. So whatever the things you need to upload, you can directly upload from here once you are navigating to a particular file or folder structure, how I have navigated. You can do the same way and you can transfer the file directly. If you want to upload an entire image folder, you can upload also there and whatever the things you want to upload, you can directly upload or you can directly you know upload the entire site also so let's suppose that i go in my visual studio there's a lima and i can upload the entire site also there so there is a lot of option you can perform these things so just a few steps you need you need a website name you need a hosting you need a valid ftp account there and you are done with that thank you so much